you say it's it's when you get your feet held to the fire uh, anvil or anywhere in marketing right now with uh, performance and measurement um, they're the old cliche of I know 50% of my advertising works I just don't know which 50% right. well now you had better know <laughs> or right. you, you won't be hired <laughs> right well, I think what I found is I learned early in my career in digital uh, back in 96 that what gets what gets measured gets managed. So um, there was a period, a heyday from roughly 96 to 99, where I had very little, I had a ton of autonomy because our, my clients were not expecting a whole lot of measurement. It was website hits. Mm. Then it was unique visitors, but it was not conversions at that point. Um, you know, by 99, my clients were expecting like, are we generating in, on the business to business side? Am I generating leads? But there was not sales and marketing automation. Sales automation was around marketing automation really wasn't. It was just starting to yeah. come of age. Yeah. Um, and then on the consumer side, it was just they'd look at sales and it wasn't necessarily this keyword sold this product. So, so typically when the client is holding you accountable, which we you know encourage, we try to manage that fine line between micromanaging and complete hands-off autonomy where we're, we're trying to celebrate the rent wins and they don't really care. Uh, we need them to care. Mm -hmm. But being back in the days, it was prevalent, say, 99 to 2004 or 5, where clients were like looking at their rankings every day. We dropped a, a position for this keyword, and it was arduous because that's not how Google works, and we'd have to keep pushing back. So the typical objections on SEO is like our – used to be our rankings drop. Then we got them trained to say, well, it's really about traffic, not rankings, because what if those aren't the right keywords or that's not the right traffic? Then we got down to, is that converting quality traffic? Mm -hmm. And that's typically where we got a sweet spot. So what gets managed is if we don't feel like the client's giving us enough direction, the right messaging, the right creative, if that's you know in, in their bailiwick versus ours, then we're going to have a problem with conversions. If they're not also there's still some companies that are still not measuring this stuff well. So they're going off the gut or one loud sales guy saying these leads suck. And it's like a Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, you know, these weeds are leads are weak, but it really, it's not, if they don't give us, let's say they are weak. Well, they're not giving us the feedback that the, you know, look out for these type of leads. Let's tighten up the messaging to get better leads. Or more importantly, I've found working in sales and marketing automation. It's not a technology problem. It's a people problem. It's a culture problem. If the sales team, incentivized and trained to use the marketing automation leads and lead nurturing and lead scoring or give input on how to make that work, then they will ultimately fail. Far too many times we have clients in the B2B side that um, usually in the technology space where their sales guys won't touch the leads that we're generating for our, our marketing side of our clients. And then the, the VP, the CEO, the owner's like, you know, marketing isn't working and we're saying it's working the sales team we can prove they're not even opening these leads yeah so then you have a deadlock and it's a problem so to me it's more about the, the opportunity is training clients through consulting and education and physical training to get the sales team and the culture to say sales and marketing are peanut butter and chocolate not oil and water yeah um, and that to me has been the biggest challenge um, the other part of measurement um, and being held accountable so for B2B, it's like, are we hitting our lead quality and our lead quantity? And I've actually called out and imparted ways with clients that are all about quantity and not quality. Mm. And I'm saying, like, wouldn't you rather have one lead for a million dollars than 100 leads worth 100? Right. Um, not each, just $100 total. It's let's focus on quality. But often those metrics are driven by investors or higher ups that don't. They just their their stock price or their investment um, the return is based on volume sales growth without a focus on profitability and that's as a business owner for 15 years it's all about profitability I can't say okay. I can't keep people employed if I'm not making money and I feel my clients should be held to that same standard.